So, how are you, students of Learn C with Thomas Sir? So, I am your educator Basil once again with a new chapter: Working Capital Management, Management Accounting, Chapter Two. So, what is working capital management? What is working capital? Working capital is the capital used for the basic working of the business like expenses, sales, gross profit, uh, raw materials, direct labor, all the charges are used is un comes under working capital. So what is working capital management? It's a business strategy designed to ensure that a company operates effectively, efficiently by monitoring and using its current assets and current liabilities to the best effect. So working capital management is uh, how we manage the current asset and liabilities to the best of the company. So how do we working capital fund is required for day to day operation and it is like a blood in the human body. Blood is there for human body. So is working capital for the company to do day to day activities like paying la uh, labors, uh, uh, buying raw materials, playing, paying electricity bills and all. All sundry expenses to pay all sundry expenses, sundry daters, uh, receives and getting money from sundry daters or comes under uh, daters, characters, everything comes under capital. So balance sheet consists of capital in level to side and FA working capital in short term in <coughs> so next. It is net working capital and gross working capital. Net working capital is qualitative in nature, gross working capital is quantitative in nature. Uh, net working capital indicates the ability to meet the current liabilities and operating expenses. Gross working capital is available to meet current for financing current assets. It is expressed as CACL. Networking is expressed as CACL and in gross working capital is expressed in CA. Uh, networking capital is popular in accounting and gross working capital is <coughs> known for <coughs> popular in management. But uh, networking capital is suitable for uh, a sole trader and gross working capital is suitable for companies. Uh, networking capital is useful for finding out the true financial question of company. Gross working capital does not reveal the to financial position of the company as you know gross working capital only consists of trading account it doesn't cover the profit and loss or balance sheet so unless we make profit and loss un unless we make a profit and loss account we will not know the real position of the firm now for our networking capital we find the first the gross profit through trading account then net profit in uh, profit and loss account then we find uh, comes in balance sheet gross work in gross working capital you only do work in trading account and then in balance sheet so you, do, you don't touch to profit and loss account so that's why it doesn't reveal the true financial position so next we can see the stable business how the stable business goes and how go <coughs> stable business is a business that doesn't have any growth it is how it is it just comes up and down but in the growth pattern you see, in the stable business you can see that it is going straight but in growth you can see that there is a upliftment in the me uh, medium this line that means it is growing and the lines go up and down through it. So next. Advantages are adequate 
working capital solvency of the business so the uh, a business will not be shut down by insolvency goodwill it will have a good will there's a good name in the world and many people will contact the company as the, if there is working capital easy to get loans so if you see the financial position and the company gets uh, this, uh, the bank would be ready to pay any amount of loan cash discount provides cash discount <coughs> to the editors if uh, they are adequate working capital regular supply of raw materials as there is adequate money you can have regular supply of raw materials you can regularly pay the salaries wages and other day to day commissions like electricity bill monthly like electricity bill we can day to day like sundry expenses can come that exploitation of favorable condition that is usage favorable condition you can say go to a monopolistic uh, com monopoly company where you have everything so you can uh, do changes in the price you can make it low and you can have more <coughs> demand ability to face crisis you will if there is educate access if there is a small loss it will not affect the company you can regular return on investment ROI return on investment is ROI basically we, the people who knows about share market knows about ROI so we can see the mama earth had maximum ROI so that we can compare in this adequate they have adequate working capital maybe high morale oh, the high morale in the they will have we have confidence we can we can play high games when we have adequate working supply when there is inadequate working uh, capital they will, will not give a no cash discount we will not give cash discounts bad we will have bad credit rating on loans losing business opportunities will not come longer operating cycle would happen neglecting planned maintenance there will be high interest rate for your uh, loans we take when you know your credit score is less than you will have Uh, more no interest low roi less of roi low profit stability we will have no we cannot give returns to the uh, investors so working capital is consist of the following in in operating cycle like low materials work in progress finished goods sundry debtors receivable and cash these are the doodles in the working capital so calculation of operating cycle what all we you can create a operating cycle duration of raw material man storage stage duration of work in progress stage duration of fixed goods stage duration of receivable collection stage duration of credit period allowed by suppliers these are the calculation duration of operating cycle so we end with our Thank you.